That's why we play this game. Holy sure. smokes. I'm sore already, it's only just started. <laughs> That's number 14. You 14. only have to get one more species. So that door there, okay. All right, he's about to see us as soon as we walk down here. He's going Last to... week on Fishing Addiction, we surprised Dave, a family man, electrician, and perhaps more importantly, a fisherman, taking him on an adventure that he'll never forget. Dave! No way. <laughs> How you going, mate? I'm going super. <laughs> Better by the second, by the standard. When I finally, when, I, when Mark did actually call me, um, I couldn't believe it at first. Uh, it, I was shaking, my heart was racing. It felt like I had won the competition, but I didn't. Um, it made me, it's, Dave totally deserves it. Um, I was so happy for him, he deserves a break. I was only saying to him the other night, um, let me do the lotto because you have such bad luck. How about you let me try it for one, you know? So I'm, I'm really happy for him. Oh, really and to get a chance to do it. Oh, that's massive, yeah, that's, that's huge. That's, that's do you guys want to come? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you can't. <laughs> Bad luck, maybe they, next time. I would love to. Yeah, 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 well, you never know. Are you members? No, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> see, there you go. The big fella, he's a member. Yep. And the great thing about, uh, you, we've, we pick our winners randomly, but we notice you've been a member, I think, from the beginning. Yeah, for a while now. For a while. I think it's been like three or four years or something along those lines. So we really appreciate that. That's amazing. Yeah, it was quite amazing. Um, I was sitting there having a beer with my boss at the end of the day and um, apparently he was all, all aware of what was going on, but I wasn't. And then I looked out the window and I saw my son just walking out. I'm thinking, what's Cody doing here? And then uh, and the big man, Bergy, was right behind him. I'm just, my heart is still going now. Crazy. I just, yeah, I, I don't think I can stand up. I think I need to sit because my legs are shaking. Maybe because I've been working hard the last couple of days, but yeah, amazing. I'm mad, crazy. What, what's the calm anticipation? I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of stuff going through my head right now. We grabbed Dave and flew to one of the most untouched places in Australia, Dundee Beach in the Northern Territory. Come in, look at that for a grassy. Woo -hoo -hoo. We've decided to give you a really interesting challenge. You've got to catch 15 species, all right? Now you've just done one. Have a go at this. I have two fish on here. I have two fish. Wow, oh, that's a that's stonker a... again. Oh. Look at the color in that one. Snag? No, oh, no, it's going. It's and going. going and I'm running out of line real fast. Okay, we're going to reverse up on it. No panic. Is it still on? No. You might be coming straight towards you. No. Do not know what happened there. Well, the adventure continues right now with Dundee Beach Fishing Charters and our good mate Matt. We're going to head out, we've got a couple of days of great fishing ahead of us, so sit back, relax and enjoy part two of our trip here to Dundee Beach in the Northern Territory. Like drop, drop them down the bottom, yeah. and um, is you can't you can't strike them. You've got to you've got to um, let them swallow it, and they will take off. And so basically, if you feel a bite, don't do anything. Just uh, drop it to the bottom and hold on. Deployed. Well, today is all about, well this morning at least, is all about catching a nice big black jewfish. This bloke here, Matt Britton, he is renowned for his big jewfish. They say you come for the barra, but you come back for the jewfish. Because he knows how to catch them and he's been here for eight years fishing this territory. And uh, I hope today is our turn to catch a big one. I feel confident. Yeah, yeah? confident, yep. It's been a good season for him, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely, yep. 
I'm excited. We've gone to the dirty old Paternoster rig. Now these Jewies, they love a big bait. And with the amount of run we have at the moment, fishing vibes and so forth is a little bit hard because of the amount of current that's there. So a nice big snapper lead and the traditional old Paternoster rig. I'm gonna throw that down and see if we can find ourselves. Big Jewy. Not a little one, a big one. How you going, Dave? Frothing, mate. Frothing. Frothing. I like it. Nothing like a froth in the morning. Any bites? Yeah, it's got one. So you'll get like your little little taps and feel like whiting or something. Yeah. Like oh, there's a bite. There we go. I might eat it. Fish on. Oh, oh, oh that's a Dewey. Oh, yes. Look at that rod pen. Dave, how you feeling, brother? I'm sore already. It's only just started. <laughs> no pressure, but this could potentially be the biggest fish you've ever caught in your life. How exciting. Oh, look at him go. How good's this rod? Yeah, they're nice, aren't Got they, some mate? Stick. That's it. Some hurt. Up him up. Nice work. You're doing really well. Look at his head thumps. Thump, thump. Yes. We've only been fishing for five minutes. What's oh. going on, Matty? <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh, this could be another species for the challenge if it's what we think it is. I don't think it's a shark. Right, whoa, it, whoa. it could be. No, it's a Dewey. Oh yeah, there he is. On this trip to Dundee Beach, not only did we use a range of lures from Zerik, but we've also used the brand new Blades and Tails. Now this is a Wilson rod, it's a live fibre branded rod, and let me tell you, these things are sensational. This is the 7 foot, 10 to 20 pound. Now I owe you a lot of snapper fishing with this particular rod, but on the reef, chasing things like coral trout and all those reef ooglies, this is my absolute favourite rod. So check out the blades and tails. Very, very good value and these rods will last you a lifetime if you look after them. And I've teamed this up with an ATC reel. The thing I love about these ATCs is they're built tough. They're not the sort of reel that you drop off the end of your boat at the boat ramp on the concrete and they're going to snap into a million pieces because they're plastic. They're made of steel. A little bit heavier, but then they're much, much stronger. And these things will last a very, very long time. They're built um, as a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio on these smaller reels, a little bit less on the bigger guys. And uh, again, these will last you a very, very long time if you look after them. So that's the setup that I've been using, ATC reel with a beautiful live fibre blades and tail rod. Look at those head thumps, thump, thump. Yes. We've only been fishing for five minutes. What's oh. going on, Matty? <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh, this could be another species for the challenge if it's what we think it is. Whoa, whoa. It could be. No, it's a Dewey. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, look at it. You can see him there. Wow, beautiful fish. Okay, and once you get him close, you're going to step back. Touch the leader. Yes. yes! Look at that thing! Woo! <laughs> oh man, that is a magic fish. How do you feel, mate? <laughs> and this is just starting. This is awesome. <laughs> That's a cracking oh, fish. Oh, what a way to rack up a species. Look at the big tail on that. Because they go hard too, don't they? Off the bat there, yeah, that was good. We're only in what, 11 metres of water, 12 metres of water. That's an awesome looking fish. You want to come up here and do this. Matty's details are on the screen right now. Get up to Dundee Beach, stay at the lodge, or even just come for a day trip. And you never know, you might catch a fish just like that. That is a perler. Again! <laughs> Whoa, that 
one's better. Oh, yeah. Woo! I haven't had a bite. What's going on? Oh, Bergy. Oh, no, mate. I want to catch one too. No, it's all about you, Dave. This trip's all about you. We'll do what you want to do. I can do this all day. Well, you've caught your two for the day. That's it now. You've got to sit out the front and let me catch them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fighting words. <laughs> yeah, good, good. That's a good one, man. Might refresh that, I think I could do this all day. <laughs> oh, you would. Dollar ten. Dollar ten? I reckon one ten. One ten centimetres? Uh, ninety nine. Didn't quite cut the it. That's a good fish. That's a very good fish. Look at him, he's in his element. He is loving it. <laughs> Look at that rod, man. Oh. I got some guts, those venoms. Yeah, go around that motor. Yeah, I'm trying. That's it, working back. Good job. Excellent work, mate. That's a good fish. Oh. That's a cracker. Here he comes! Oh, <laughs> baby! Look that's at that one! That's, that's never a meter. Yes! <laughs> Get on, you mate. Well done. <laughs> that's a great oh. fish. Look at that thing! That's what I'm talking about. Holy smokes! That's why we Man. play this game. <laughs> Good on you. We might need to swap sides there. You go over there. And, uh, oh man, look how beautiful and clean that fish is. Absolutely beautiful. How are you feeling about now, mate? Oh. <laughs> Again, words just, yeah. This, this is what, you know, this is what I do fishing for. It's the big ones become few and far between these days, so it's good to come out here and just crack in meteries. It's crazy, mate. That's definitely over a metre, that one. This one's for you, Chopper. Dave was killing it on his side of the boat and I was starting to get a little bit jealous of all the action. I love watching other people catch their dream fish, but I also love catching them myself as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's going on over this side? Oh yeah, just let it, let it load up. Oh gosh. Yep. He's done it again. What the fuck is going on? My bait's right next to his. Get burgies as well, mate. That's what I've got to do. Hook it, hook it for him and let him wind it in. How could you hey, see? Burgie, you want this one? <laughs> oh man, I'm getting drilled. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show, and uh, with all your support, we uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au, uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. You want me to switch to a fish trap? <laughs> oh, man, he's getting cocky now. Uh... <laughs> you made this animal. <laughs> yeah. okay. Come up and over the motors. Yep, that's it. Come around. Get out of oh, my area. Come on, mate. <laughs> man, oh, man, now he's moving me out of his spot as well. <laughs> oh, what the heck, mate? Just that. <laughs> yeah, so bad. But the rod, it just doesn't... The Wilson setup, mate. It's one of the first rods that bought me old boy, actually, with Wilson. You don't mind the old Venoms, do you, mate? No, I'm a huge fan. I see why. Sorry, Berg, you're in the way again, mate. Are you kidding me? No, oh, I'm not. Oh, my lord. <laughs> really stuck to get in the weed. It's a good fish. Might even be better again. Oh, there oh, he is. Look at that. Solid. A cracker. Oh, they're an awesome fish. Just keep your rod down for a sec. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That was you, wasn't it, Bergie? <laughs> oh! 
I'm getting hammered from everywhere. <laughs> That's what I think of you. I'm asked out of breakfast. That's another good one. Oh. That's like another, yeah. probably around that metre ten again. Yeah, another oh, cracking fish. Look at your fins up, look at it. Hold him up. Beautiful. A bit of a cough on there, Dave. Yeah, just a little. Certainly glad I gave up smoking, that's for sure. Yeah, he'll load up. He's on top of down. Yeah. 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 Oh, go baggy. <laughs> on relatively light gear. That's awesome. Oh my god. That's a good one. That means you got one too. Oh. Okay, thank you. Oh, done his first run. Uh, and he's going to start just banging his head around for a bit. Uh, it's all happening. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Oh, a nice little one. <laughs> oh yeah, lovely fish. And freeze ball. Yeah, fun! Oh. Yay! I got one! That's good fun folks, I gotta tell you. On the lighter gear like that, I mean it's just so good. They're so healthy, aren't they? Beautiful looking fish. I love the little flecks of purple and turquoise you can see through his head. Just a gorgeous fish. Yay. That's our quota. That's it. We're That's done. it, we're done. Time to move on to something else. How cool is that? Well, I would like to catch a few more, but <laughs> good to do the right thing. just below the surface, what it is. So we're doing the same thing as we did a couple of days ago and that coming to these tuna schools and throwing in a shrimp or a fish trap or pretty much anything really and trying to find a trevally or maybe a cobia or whatever underneath these schools of tuna. And we had one behind the boat at school, it's still there. We cut the motors, started to drift towards them and this absolute shrimp, it's been absolutely hammered. I thought it might have been a tuna, but now I don't know. Here's they go, don't they? Oh! Wow. Hook's pulled, fish went away. Oh, you all right, Mr. Cameraman? Smack you in the head. <laughs> After I dropped that fish, the school resurfaced around the boat so I decided to take the hooks off a surface lure and have some fun while Dave tried to hook one. Righto Dave. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. somersault. That's a long tail. That's what longies do. Woo -hoo -hoo. Cool strike. And this will be species number 10 if you get it. Hang on. Sounds good to Five, me, baby. Eight. Six, seven, eight. No. So this will be species number nine if you get it. <laughs> number nine. Very nice. Nine is fine. Come from wine. Yep. Righto, Dave. Oh, come on. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh, I got a hit. 
kidding me? You're up there? Nah. Yeah, they good. <laughs> Got some legs. Yes! Wow, the longest fight in history. <laughs> but just like Matt was saying, the Mac tuna seemed to give up a lot quicker than these things, so don't feel bad that it took you half an hour to get it up. <laughs> it's a little, uh, yeah, nice little fish. And they'll, uh, they're just really quite good sashimi, actually. So he might go on ice and we might eat him for sashimi tomorrow. Sounds good. And that species number nine. nine. Well done. Oh, look at them right next to the boat. Yeah. Hello, boys. We decided to head back towards the mangroves and try once again to get Dave his first Northern Territory barramundi. But on our way, we thought we might chuck out a few deep divers and see if we could troll up a mackerel. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, Dave. And be quick. Yep, go for it. Yep, 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 yep. No loose line when you drop your right tip down. Still got it on? Yep. Yep, mackerel, there he is. That's the one we wanted. Woohoo! Spanish mackerel. Yeah! <laughs> is that your first Spaniard? Yeah, man. Oh, well done, brother. Good job. First finished. Business is now finished. Hello, right, mate. Pick him up. As I said, not a monster, but still your first Spanish mackerel. Awesome. Nice little fish. Finally finished it off. Quality eating fish, too, let me tell you. Yeah. I keep saying that, don't I? All I seem to do is think about my stomach. <laughs> Look at all that water you just put on the lens. Thanks, Mr. Mackerel. Well, we're definitely going to eat you. I've got a dispatch of him, put him on ice. Keep on fishing. And that's species number 10. 10. Well Let's go get another one. Five to go, baby. Well, as you can see, we're back in the river. Dave's up to 10 species out of the 15 that he needs and one of them has to be, or well, the remaining five, one has to be a barramundi. So we've come back to the river and we're gonna troll and troll and troll until we find him one. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it's a cracker. His first barramundi, how nice would that be if it was a nice beefy, ooh, some bait scattering over there. So, sit back, relax, and uh, got nothing else to say, really. They are very, very nervous, and so they should be in a system like this. Oh, that, oh, 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 oh. Mate, that's oh. a big fish. Settle, settle, settle. Just let him take line. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, just chill. Just relax, let me get mine in. Good weight there, anyway. This could be the one. Pump and wine. Side of the boat, sort of following around. Easy, gentle, gentle, gentle. That way. Yeah, bring him back around. Don't let that line touch the bottom of the boat if you can. Yeah, put your arms out. That's it. Bring him back up now. You should be right. Oh, it's going up, up river. Right. I mean, down river. Just gonna try and get, get you around. Yeah, no, you're on. No, stay there. It's okay. Come around the front. No, 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 no. Stay there. Just let me. He'll just move the boat, and then it'll end up going along the side of the boat, and you'll be right. Keep going back. Keep going back. Yeah, you're good. You're good. There we go. Easy, mum. This is a barra. It's a pretty good one, mate. Nice and gentle. Let's grab that net. Yeah. I don't know what this is. 
I'm not convinced it's a barra, hey? Yeah. Could be a big filthy catfish. Oh, there's leader. Oh, it's a big barra. It's a big barra. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Oh, it is too. Oh, my lord. It's a big girl. Give me that. Yep. You just ride the boat. I want to put this thing in, though. You just, just keep fighting it, mate. That's it, you're doing well. Just keep going. You're doing a great job. Ease it up. That's it. Good job. Yep, doing a great job, mate. How good is this little rod going? Hey? How good is this little blades and tail going? Yeah, mate, they're not bad. We'll talk about that after you catch the fish, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I hope it comes down to Maddie's netting skills. Just, just. Don't even sort of lift, just that. You grab the net when it comes. That's it. You're There's all right. He's fine. Lift your rod up. Yeah, lift your rod up. Just don't, don't want it. That's it. That's it. Yeah! Oh, my. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that thing, mate. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Man, Look at that barra. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy smokes, <laughs> mate. Well done. Now that is what fishing addiction oh. is all about right there. That's why we play this game. Holy sure. smokes. And Matty Britton, <laughs> this punk over here has come through for us big time. <laughs> Dundee Beach fishing charters, holy uh, smokes. In the middle of winter, when the barra fishing's crap right now because there was no runoff, he's still producing fish like this. And I can understand why you got that metre 13. I'm telling you, there are that many charter boats out there and everyone's talking barra and no one's caught a fish like this. Well done, Matty. What a cracker. Not much you haven't right, done we'll on this trip, mate. <laughs> yeah, let's put it on we'll the... Uh, on the tape. Yeah, let's see how big he is. I'm thinking he's going to go 90s. So, mate, you needed a legal size one, so we better check. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's on the end. And we've got... Yeah. Right there. So, 89. 89. 89. 89 centimetres for your first barramundi. That's not a bad way to get off the You're line. a freak, mate. Oh, that is such a good fish. Well done, mate. But it deserves to live. And she's going back in. Righto, Maddie. Just be careful of those crocodiles, my friend. I don't think it's going to take her too much to take off. Oh, what a cool fish. Come on, sweetheart. Yep, there she goes. Upright and away. Good Nicely stuff. along the bank. Well done, yeah. mate. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Well done. Even better seeing him swimming away. How did that feel? I mean, you're a guy that fish barra for many, many years to get a, a barra like that. And your very first one was 89 centimetres. Oh, that's unbelievable. So, yep, that one was for you, Ethan. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a salty, though. His was a fresh. But it's amazing. That's, that's uh, species awesome number 11, fight. by the way. Yes. Four to yes. go. Four to go, you beauty. We should have made it harder, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all. No. <laughs> a little bit closer to shopping day. Beauty. <laughs> Got me first barra money today. Um, I don't know how long this smile is going to be on my face for, but um, oh, it's just an amazing fish. Um, I think three times I thought I'd lost it. It went under the boat, then it went under the motor. And this is after I'd seen how big it was. That's when I really started to stress. So I had Matt stressing to me too, stop pulling it so hard, but I didn't even think I was pulling it hard. So it just shows you, you really got to switch on with the soft mouths and things like that. But um, oh, it's. Yeah, it's, it's still, mate, like I said, it's still going through my head exactly what happened there. Good on you, Dave. Good team effort, I thought. Yeah, it was awesome all day.
The aim for the day is to catch and net four different species of fish, winning day $5,000 from our good friends at Wilson Australia and $2,000 worth of fishing gear from addicttackle.com.au. Can he do it? With a little bit of run this morning, but I reckon I'll be able to get this absolute shrimp down. We're only in about 20 metres, and there's a lot of fish showing on the sounder at the bottom there. So I'll flick her out and see how we go. See if we can find a nice little reef oogly. Yep. This absolute shrimp, without a doubt, is the most realistic looking shrimp I've ever used. Oh, what's that? Nice trout. Nice trout, yeah. Oh, come here, mate. Oh, nice trout. Look at that guy. Just try and lift him in. Come here, mate. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. And you can see that absolute shrimp has pinned him perfectly. In terms of table fish, doesn't get any better. Very, very good. Days. Come on, Dave. Golden snapper, mate. Yes. Yep. Yes. Species. Could be a species. Oh, too bad. Yeah. A monster, but it's. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Goldie. Goldie! It's a species. Well done. Nice, mate. What's that, number 12? Number 12. After catching the golden snapper, Dave only really had a few species left to target. A few of the species that could bring him up to 15 are the golden trevally, saddle tail snapper, a red emperor, a brassy trevally, or perhaps another cod variant. I want to something mine. rather make you mine. Make you all mine. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, ho, ho, mm. Davo was his name. Oh, another oh. species. Come on. It is a ripping big grassy. <laughs> and another grassy. When you're fishing bait, you often have to go through a million of these before you get something uh, different, but that's okay. So I decided to put down my rod for a few seconds and give the old biceps a rest and wait for something else to turn up. Probably a bit of a mistake. Yeah. So this is what happens when you put your rod down for one second, one of your camera guys grabs it. Oh, get rid, you are kidding me. A red emperor. You are unbelievable, mate. What are you doing, give me the line. Oh my gosh, I said to him, as long as you don't catch a red emperor, I'm happy and what does he do? Catches a, just free spool that, catches a red emperor. I'll just pull him over. Look at that pretty fish. And that's the one we're targeting for Dave. And I've got to be honest, it, they're actually really hard to catch on lures. You don't see them very often. I've only ever seen, that's the second one I've ever seen on, a, on, a, um, on anything other than bait. There you go. And you've caught it on a vibe. You are... <laughs> don't touch my rod, mate. I'll, I'll put it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the way. Lovely fish. Yeah. That's cool to let them go. Those fish don't suffer from barotrauma, so it's nice to see those smaller red emperors swim free. Will. <laughs> Dave's on. This is good. Is that a substantial fish, mate? I don't know what it is yet. It's what we want. Oh, yeah, oh, baby. Oh, yes. Yes. Couple of wines. Oh, don't pull his head out of the water. Yes! What a fish! Oh, the old What a fish, man. <laughs> oh, yes! You've done it again, Matty. That's why we had you sticking a bait, mate, because it was only uh, a matter of time. Couldn't let Will out, do me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Will. That's a really good bet. That is a beautiful fish. I didn't want to fish. say too much. I'm sick of saying yeah, I've got a, new, a good one, I've got a good one. Oh, man, and that's that species one. number 13. 13, yep. Wow, two to go, we've still got half a day. Mate, you are looking good now. I tell you, if we just get some trevally or something else to turn up. 13. You have two to go, mate. 
five thousand bucks worth of gear from Wilson oh, on the line, it. and two grand's worth of attic tackle. That's seven thousand dollars worth of fishing gear. I'm trying not to think of it. On the line, two species, and it's all yours. How are you feeling right now? Oh, good to see red. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think. Um, yeah. I was just yeah, everyone just come up grassy. So. Yeah. yeah. No, That's what good. I said, you've got to go through about 50 grassies yep, and then eventually you'll catch one like that. Tensions were high on the boat. Everyone just wanted Dave to win and after a week of non-stop fishing it seemed only right that he took home the $7,000 worth of gear. Probably going to have another one here in a minute. Where's your on the way down? You on? Yep. Go easy, go easy. What is that? Yeah, head shakes. Look at him. Oh, oh, what could this be? I think I've got colour. Can you see it, mate? Yep, golden, golden corelli. What? Oh, yep. you're beauty. Are you serious? <laughs> Get him, mate. Get him, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. Holy smokes, you are looking good, my friend. <laughs> what a cool fish. Mate, you realise that's number 14. You 14. only have to get one more species, and it's got to be decent. And you've won seven grand's worth of gear. Oh, that's kidding. How will that feel? Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Could you use it? Oh, the kids would be frothing, mate. <laughs> I don't it's think you'll sad. get any of it, will oh, you? I'll, I'll be lucky. I'll have to get in early. 14. One to go, folks. Just one fish one to, to go, go, boys. I'm going to keep the butt in there. Oh, that's mate, that's good. a good fish. I'm going to get mine out of the way, I think. I hope it's not one of them grassies. Oh, I don't think a grassy fight's like that, my friend. Come here. Come around you. Yeah, yeah, you come. I'll get my right out of the way. All right, go there. Beautiful. Keep going. Oh, that, it's a big fish. Ooh. Holy smokes. Big trevally. Yeah. Something big. big Something trevally. different. Big trevor. Is it? I think so. Oh yeah. It is, what kind of trevally though? Oh, it's a big, it's a big brassy. This is it. All right, keep going. No, no, you got a few more pumps in you, mate. You want that leader just to come through? That's it. Now lift. Don't lift him out of the water. Get him in. Yes! <laughs> yes! <Woo> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Matty. What a fish to finish on! <laughs> Look, it's not the biggest brassy of all time. But you know what? We cannot deny you this fish because it's a reasonable fish is what we've been targeting. That's a good fight. How do you feel, mate? That's $7,000 worth of fishing gear you've just picked up. Oh, the adrenaline just keeps pumping out here, that's for sure. <laughs> Took a while coming, though. Five grand's worth of gear from Wilson, and we'll work out what kind of fishing you do, and we'll adjust the gear that uh, Wilson sends to you for that. And, of course, at addicttackle.com.au, you get to go and pick whatever you want, mate. $2,000 spending spree there. Seven grand. How's that sound? Oh, that's awesome. This one's uh, ET and Cod to me two boys. When we get back, let's go shopping, eh? ET is not Andrew Eddinghausen, is it? He's already got plenty of fishing gear, mate. No, nah, mate. That's, that's your fine. son, ET. That's my son, ET. Oh, right. OK. Gotcha. That's gotcha. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's it from us guys here at Dundee Beach in the Northern Territory. Special thanks to Matt Britton from Dundee Beach Fishing Charters. He's a top bloke and you should look him up if you're coming up to the Northern Territory. And if you want to give yourself the chance to come on the show, you must be a member. So go to fishingaddiction.com.au, sign up, and you never know, I might come knocking on your door. Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe and God bless.